Moving abroad has been romanticized over the last few years. We've all been allowed to dream of adventure. We all dream of doing something fun, different, and awesome with our lives, regardless of our age. When we are young, we are busy following the paths that are mapped out for us. As we age, we worry we have missed our chance. We are just too young or too old. We don't have enough money or we will miss our family. Bom dia. Have you ever dreamt of moving abroad, wondering how you do it and whether such a big change is worth it? Then you have found the right channel. With people constantly looking for their next adventure, we want to show the adventure we've embarked on so others can learn from our journey. I am Alan. My wife Leslie, son Wolf and I are from the Midwest in the United States. We have lived in Portugal for well over two and a half years now. Our home is the beautiful island of Madeira with beautiful mountains and ocean all around. Subscribe to learn from our journey as you work to navigate your own. It'll be fun. Vicer Divertido. Today we're up here on Levada Pole to walk its 10.7 kilometer run there and back. And as we walk, I, we are just going to cover some of the basic things that people look at for when they come to Portugal, when they move here, like we have. Portugal's known for safety, for good health care, and for friendly people, amongst many other things. One of which for us being cost of living. Today we find ourselves on Lavada do Paul. It's very high up very steep at the top of the island and behind me you can see several windmills. Uh, Portugal as a whole, not just Madeira, is very intent on eco-friendliness and on uh, eco-sustainability with its power. The autonomous region of Madeira is certified as a sustainable tourist destination having been awarded the first level of the Silver Seal by Earthcheck. This is where we live. This is an amazing island covered with natural mountains that reach into the clouds. Plenty of fresh water trickles down these cloud top mountains. For hundreds of years, the water has been moved around the island through a series of man-made canals called lavadas. They are maintained to this day and now make for the perfect places to hike alongside as you explore the natural beauty. The amazing natural resources have continued to be expanded and now the island is able to sustainably produce almost 30% of its electricity. You will find wind, hydro, and solar fields located on top of the mountains. It is well worth to take the trip and take a walk along Lavada du Paul, where we are today. Please come join us on Patreon and check out our website for more help with your own adventures. Our second piece for the day is going to be safety. Everyone, when they're looking to travel somewhere, let alone move, one of the first things they're considering is the safety of where they're going. And Portugal ranks very highly on that. Of course, you want to be careful when walking along Lavadas and Veritas. The mountains are high. That said, in all the time we have been living and traveling in Portugal, we have felt safe. Even walking late at night, we have no worries. Portugal earns its reputation as a stable, secure, and tranquil destination. Renowned for its safety, it stands out as one of the world's safest countries to explore. In the 2023 Global Peace Index, Portugal secured the seventh spot, following closely behind Iceland, New Zealand, Ireland, Denmark, Austria, and Singapore. Well, our next subject is supposed to be healthcare. I'm not so sure how much I need healthcare if I fell off this, because I don't think I'm making it to the hospital. But it would be good if I made it there, because Portugal has some of the best healthcare in the world. Let's add some detail to the meaning of really good. Really good means Portugal offers a public or universal healthcare system as well as a private system. When moving abroad, it is important to ensure that you are covered. We chose to have private insurance in order to round out our health care coverage and ensure we can get in to see the doctors when we want on a timely basis. The public program covers all legal residents. 
This is where you go if you need major treatment. Think things like cancer or heart attacks. It's also the public system that provides prescription coverage. The private system actually uses the same doctors and will allow you to more easily get in for follow-ups, preventive care, tests, and more minor surgeries, like my gallbladder surgery. I know we have told you this before, but the Portuguese culture is one that naturally welcomes you. The Portuguese are known for their warm hospitality and friendly nature towards foreigners. Influenced by their history of exploration, the concept of Sadade. This is a unique Portuguese concept that encompasses a sense of longing, nostalgia, and melancholy. It fosters empathy and understanding, making the Portuguese more attuned to the emotions and experiences of others. With a strong tradition of socializing, the people genuinely enjoy connecting with the people from different cultures. Their genuine interest, respect for guests, and ingrained hospitality make Portugal a welcoming destination for visitors. Let's touch on the cost of living. Like anywhere in the world, if you have millions, you can spend it here. However, unlike what you would think when contemplating a move to Europe, Portugal's cost of living is notably affordable compared to many other European countries, making it an attractive option for those seeking a comfortable lifestyle without breaking the bank. You do not need millions to live here. Housing, food, transportation, and leisure activities are more generally budget friendly, allowing for residents to enjoy a fulfilling life without the financial strain. We know that you can live a very nice lifestyle on less than 2,500 euros for a couple a month, as long as you don't need to live in the city center in the big cities. There are plenty of locations where you can live for less. We'll link our most recent cost of living video at the end so you can learn more. You will find that Portugal boasts a high quality of life attributed to its climate. It is known for its mild winters and long sunny summers, creating an ideal environment for outdoor activities year round. From stunning beaches along the coast to picturesque mountains and lush countryside inland, Portugal's diverse landscapes offer endless opportunities for exploration and relaxation. Beyond these tangible benefits, Portugal's quality of life is enriched by its welcoming culture, strong sense of community, and leisurely pace of life. Whether savoring a leisurely meal with friends at a local cafe, attending cultural events or festivals, or simply taking in the stunning scenery, residents find ample opportunities to connect, unwind, and enjoy life to the fullest in Portugal. It'll be fun. Vice Air Divertido. Until next time. Até a próxima. Our Moving Abroad program is coming soon. Let us know what we can help you with. Our programs, Patreon, and affiliates are how we support this channel. They are located in the description of our videos, as well as on our website and Patreon. We'd like to take a moment to thank all of our Patreon supporters. Your financial support is truly appreciated allowing us to create new content. We hope you continue to come along with us on our new adventure. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help us grow. The next stage in your life is a journey.